Good morning. I've got a song here. I haven't even written my chart yet. So you're going to hear the whole thing before I play. Uh, I want to check the email that I got this in, though. Just to make sure there are no requests or um, references that I'm forgetting. <clears throat> okay, the producer says, we tracked Electric Live and it was just a little too generic. The track needs an identity. To me, as a guitar player, that means come up with a cool hook for the intro and the turnaround and the outro. The progression of the song doesn't really give you a lift on the choruses, so I feel like they can be exaggerated a bit dynamically. That makes sense. That, that's almost always where my mind goes when when the song the song might be G to C the entire time. So if that's the case, you need to really make sure that you map it out dynamically. Um, Electric takes the solo. We will add steel and keys. If you have any questions, feel free to holler. All right, so uh, let's let's listen down. I'll write my chart. One to four. Grandma's cooking my favorite meal. I still remember and always weird that I could walk inside and feel right at home. Fireworks, Fourth of July, gunpowder clouds filling up the sky.
All right. I think I want to start with a big old bear tongue. So here's my chart. Intros one to four. There's a beat four, one over three. Verses are 44.11. Chorus, same thing, 44.11. Uh, so we need to do something to make sure that we add to the shift into the chorus. Chorus, not chorus. <laughs> uh, the chorus is 10 bars. There's that little uh, tag, two minor split, one over three, four split, diamond four on the first chorus. And then we play through at the end of the second chorus into the solo. And then it tags in the third chorus. And so bar for the third chorus, I wrote this doom, 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 stop. Boom, boom. So there's a, a, a beat three stab and then a hit on beat four to bring us into the up part of the chorus. So pretty straightforward song. Um, this is for a, a Texas artist. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to start with a good old baritone. I don't even know what key we're in. About to find out, I suppose. that chorus without much to let us know that's what it is. So we're in the key of E. There's the, the baritone in uh, single coil mode. I have a, a knob here. It's a blend. Man, you still can't see it. This third knob down here, so it's volume, tone. And then this knob, all the way down, these are single coils. All the way up, they're humbuckers. So you can blend between the two. It's not even like a coil tap, it's a coil blend, which is pretty cool. So again, this is single coil. There's full humbucker. Slightly more gain, a lot more mids. I kind of like the mids. Um, I'm, I'm usually somewhere in the middle to a full on humbucker. Okay, so let's. Uh, I'm just trying to decide if I think that tremolo is too strong, too too much, like too much depth. That's better. A little bit of movement. There we go. Actually, completely lost the depth in the mix. Let's try this again. Also, checking my tuning.
Okay, so there's a big push in the middle of the turn. Also, I'm not sure, but I think there might be a baritone one that helps lead us into this chorus. So I'm gonna punch in it halfway through verse one. It sounds like they're doing quarters on the bridge, so I'm gonna punch in there and grab that. Let's do that build one more time. I feel like having the big reverb. Just a lot of reverb in that one spot. I might turn it off for that build. Hang around with the ones who I also feel like I'm a little flat. Two ringing out when I hit hit the outro, so I'm gonna get in right there. Mm, I'm gonna catch that build back. 
Twitter. as long as the file they send you or a little longer okay so I think we're pretty good on this track um, if you notice they got into the second chorus a lot better than they got into the first chorus there's a real intentional build there that makes a lot of sense um, really telegraphs the chorus well. Uh, and the first chorus there just wasn't nothing, anything. It's like hi-hats got a little sloshier. I might double that line. On another guitar. And then have still another guitar just have somebody building, you know. Um, and then did I do something in the middle of the chorus on the baritone? Let's listen. I did not. I feel like I did in chorus two though. Where are you? Yeah, in second chorus, I did a just walking up. I'm going to make a note of that just because um, just because it's good to know. Bridge, quarters. Um, it's a real intentional build in the middle of the outro. Bar two of the turnaround had that push. You notice how going into both verses in the intro, the last bar is a four chord. In the turn, the last bar is a four chord. So they're hitting a beat four, one over three. So that there's some sort of reset for the verse, because the verse starts on the four chord. So, you know, you want to uh, you want to help set up each section as it comes. Sorry, I'm uh, I'm gonna gonna book a session here for just a second. I just got the dreaded split. Uh, that's when you have a 10 a.m. and then a 6 p.m. <laughs> so for someone like me, like I, I don't live I don't live too far outside of downtown, but. You know, if I get done at one o'clock, I got to think, okay, I got to be back in the same spot at six. Do I want to go home and eat lunch and see my kids for a little bit? Probably, that's probably what I'll end up doing. But then I got to know that driving back into town for six o'clock, I'm going to be um, right in the middle of rush hour. So, yeah. Sometimes if you have something to do, things to do, you, you can just stay and hang out and uh, save all the travel, but I'd probably rather come home. So there's the baritone. I think we're going to go to the telling next and uh, stack our first overdub. Uh, now that I have a turnaround where I've heard the vocal 
and what it's doing there, I can come up with a hook. So that's what I'm going to do next. See ya.